This is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming, and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. We're continuing the series on designing effective sets and effective training sessions. We're continuing our focus on our main sets targeted at endurance development. I've shown you several different ways to structure endurance sets, and I have one more for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about the ladder. The ladder is where you change the distance of the repetition as you perform the set. One of the main advantages of the ladder is that it can help to avoid the monotony that can often accompany endurance development sets. The ladder can either go up or it can go down. Going up the ladder means the, that you increase the distances as you go, and going down the ladder means that you decrease the distances. As you perform a ladder, you can also change the number of repetitions that you complete at each step. For instance, you can perform multiple repetitions of each step of the ladder, decreasing the number of repetitions as you go up the ladder. Likewise, you can also decrease Likewise, you can also increase the number of repetitions as you go down the ladder and the distances shorten. I'd also like to mention the cousin of the ladder, the pyramid. It's a version of the ladder where you go up the ladder and down the ladder during each set. Check out the key takeaways that follow for a summary of these concepts and to see these concepts in action through sample sets, stay tuned for that as well. For access to digital copies of all of the sample sets as well as the key takeaways that I've created for all of these videos, please click on the link in the video description below. You'll be able to get free and immediate access.